Hello there, this is Izix to another episode of Europa Universalis 4. Last time, we tried to declare independence. We're still fighting that war. It's not going very well. Also, Friesland attacked, and well, they kind of kicked our ass, and then Burgundy showed up and kicked more of our ass. So, yeah, about that. That kind of sucks. Hey, liege. My liege. Come, be friendly with me. Please. Be in your best interests if you did <laughs> Boom. anyway so these guys are gonna pop over here they're gonna start sieging up my territory again and basically we're gonna wait for France wait for them to do what who knows it's gonna be a very very short campaign but uh, at least we're, we're doing our best and they do get a minus 70 here yeah I guess I could try to rebuild my army over here, but what's the point? Why don't I just make money? <laughs> I could raise war taxes, but again, what's the point? I don't have any troops to pay. <laughs> so it'd be a very ineffective means to uh, try to save money. To get more money to pay, buy more troops. Get more troops to get more money. And France! France! What are you doing, France? Stop doing things. Over there. We got forts. A couple of them right there. Hmm. So, while I'm sort of waiting for my country to implode, uh, we can uh, look at some things here. Like, hey, there's this development stuff. Like, improve your tax base and manufacturing and manpower. Hmm, I'm actually really tempted to do that. Ooh. Can I do that? Well, okay, it's, it's, it's being sieged, so I can't improve the uh, the public works. Kind of makes sense, I guess. Peasants, rise up and kill these dudes. We want you to be free and happy. Yes. Hmm. Landis has a claim. It's not good. Well, we're going to need more manpower anyway, so let's go ahead and... Uh, again, getting mil, mil techs early would be nice. We're going to be a little low on manpower for a while. Accumulate money. Hooray. We, we succeeded our mission. Um, form an alliance with Utrecht. Create a proper fleet. Uh, what, what's our fleet looking like here? Oh, we can actually build a lot more ships. But do we want to? No, we're busy. We're not going to take a mission right now. We've got some unrest. we got some war exhaustion. The Dutch peasants are rising up and being all like, Hey. 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 Hey, 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 hey. Oh yeah, because <laughs> fighting the independence war. Can't declare war right now. Uh, you direct. You are a bishopric, but I want you inside me eventually. So we're going to go and claim you in your face. In your face. Mm, yeah, in your face. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe France will come to the rescue. Maybe somehow they'll... In the Vince War of the Roses, they're helping out the Lancasters. Oh my. France, stop losing. I need you to kill the Aragonese and come up and help. Um, you know what? We want me more pimp. Forward to the glory. Hmm. I don't know what I mean by pimp, though. When I describe it for myself, it means awesome. When I describe other people, I'm like... They're like pimping out. They're like running away. They're like saying, screw this. I have to put up with it. I'm basically just kind of being rude and crude. I'm not sure what that means yet. Yeah, about that. Hmm. Here's an idea. If this gets uh, another couple more ticks. I might build a guy over here. And hopefully they'll break siege to go deal with him. Maybe. Hello, Austria. Oh, how you doing? Hey. <laughs> See, you're busy down there. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Might be a plan. Hmm. Well, meanwhile, let's see how the French are doing. Coming back over here. Hardy seaman. Nice. <clears throat> mm. Uh... <laughs> Mayor of Portugal. Castile, what are you doing? Castilian conquest of. 
Really? Really? <sighs> Sometimes the AI just like, I want to do things. And it was, and it's not. That's not just because it's the new update or anything like that. That's just how the AI is in general. All right. I think I'm gonna try the trick where I build a dude. Uh, yeah, just one for now. Move them over to the capital. Hopefully they'll break siege and the war will not be over instantly. And Portig Iron. Ooh. Uh. I gotta go with the mercantilism. Because if I'm gonna be doing a trade game, having that will be beastly, especially late game. So I'm building that up as much as possible. Good thing. Accepted peace with Burgundy. Alright, well, that's disappointing. Well, maybe I can go take some territory from Burgundy and get closer to that peace deal. Hooey, hooey, hmm. At least France has an army. Like me. Unfortunately, the army's not doing anything to help me. They're fighting other wars, doing other things, fighting other combats. Isn't that music swelling and doing things and such? It's lovely, isn't it? Alright. Hi there. I'm going to go hang out in your capital. No, not that way. There we go. In the hopes of causing you to break your siege and come for me. Because, hey, I'm, at least I'm, like, raiding your capital, right? I'm going to build another dude while I'm waiting. Like two more. Yeah. Yeah. Then maybe I can siege your capital properly. And you're going to be like, oh. Meanwhile, just in case, let me get my diplomat ready. Oh! Um, I could end the war right now, potentially. You know? You know? Assuming this doesn't pop. Okay, good. I'll be in a good position at the start of this next month to declare war, uh, ask for war reparations. Yeah, for all the trouble you've get caused me. Make my combat with Burgundy last longer than it should have. All right, hey Friesland, you're 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 a jerk, you're a jerk face. I want you to suffer, but I'll make you suffer more later. For now, our war's over. <laughs> you're giving us ten percent of your income, and yeah, about that. And we're gonna get to rebuilding our army a little bit. So we can actually maybe finish this war. Or maybe we can finish this war right now. Not quite. Still still some things to go. Uh, There's some way to maybe draw France out of this. Or... I don't know. They're, they're trying to take Valencia here. And they are working on it. Just taking their sweet time about it. If I take that, then I think, yeah, the, the, other, the other forts are up here. And then pretty much Aragon's dealt with. Uh, I can buy my Portugal. They're also fighting over here. Oh, Algrave. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Alright, well, I can always peace out early, because I am pretty close. I still want them to release Barbant, though. That would just be... Just, that'd just be swell. That's for you. You can go back to your mission from before, but go home at war. Because I don't like losing my chance splits if I don't need to. Yes. Ah, good. Good. <laughs> of course, Province is going to probably take this. Savoy, Savoy, what sort of war is this here? Oh, just, you're fighting papal states, or Bino and Hungary. So, the, the Burgundians aren't even here. I should have known that. I should have known that. Oh, God, why didn't I know that? Why? Easy. I am a crazy person. All right. 
recruit relations. So let's go ahead and just send our dude down here. Because, uh, Pebble States, this isn't going to be taken. Because these guys are not at war with uh, Burgundy. Ooh, excuse me. Suddenly I'm burping everywhere. Oh, crap. We got Burgundians on the case. Yes. Send them back home. Hmm. Sort of over there somewhere. So we wait for our troops to appear. Uh, we have CB against Utrecht. Let's get one on Gelra. Gelra. Super Gelra. Gelra Gelra. Gelra Grel Gra. Well, the, the tides of war have changed dramatically several times. That's okay. Uh, France, are you done yet? No. You're still taking your sweet time sieging up provinces. Figures. Get a kick ass super duper ally. Ooh. Yoink. Thanks, England. Doing a bang up job. <laughs> I'm just going to go move over to Cambrai real quick. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's the ticket. Ah. <sighs> Well, the Burgundian, Burgundians are running away. We almost have a bigger army on our own than they do. Nice. Actually, no, independent. Do I get a bonus to... Oh, my force limits are increased. I can keep building troops. Nice. Uh, we'll wait for a little bit more money so we can build another cavalry unit. Uh, cavalry units are good in certain situations. Uh, as a Western European, uh, long run, you generally want to lean more infantry, but uh, having them uh, early game is, is useful. Cambrai. Cambero. Cambrai. Cambero. Morea. Hakuna Matana. Can we win our war yet? No. No, oh, not yet. No peace yet. No peace in our time. Damn it. That. That phrasing. Anyway. Uh. These guys are not yet being sieged up. Yes. Now we can conceivably start building up an army that's big enough to siege up their capital, but for the moment, I'd be uh, happy enough with just their uh, little bit over here. Now, these guys are probably going to be losing their war with England, which is actually bad. I'd love Burgundy to have control of uh, Calais here. But that's probably not going to happen. Um, France might take it. I don't know yet. In fact, if I can get the war score high enough, I'll give that to France, then they'll be able to take it from England themselves. The next big conflict of the continent. All right, we can do the second that night. Move forward into the future. Military lines in Albania, Siena. Why? Actually, it doesn't matter. I don't care. I love it. Yes, maybe I could go sit on one of these. Uh, come here, leader dude. Mm, builders. Which one's more important? Well, that's being sieged up. Uh, well, I guess. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. We're going. We're going over here. Why? Tubes. Hi there. Hi England. Hi Austria. <laughs> Don't mind us. We were at war briefly, but. Yeah, don't, don't mind us. Be good times. We're just gonna go uh, sit on uh, Burgundy a little bit here. Alright, and we got horses on their way. Except in England? What's going on here? What Rebels? Hmm. I don't understand why you're running away. Who are these guys? I don't think I recognize them. 
How have you had? Why is this guy's all up in arms? Don't you don't that unstable. Uh, legitimacy. Oh, it's my, <laughs> it's my legitimacy sucks. <laughs> That's why. Well, we are getting some improvement there due to prestige. Kind of. Maybe, sort of, I don't know. We are not a legit king. Not yet, at least. But we will be. We have taken Shalom. Uh, maybe we should have taken that bit instead. Hmm. We can take both. Yes. Till we have means to which to bring an end to this destructive conflict. Or, we can end it now. Uh, how much would it take you to give that there? Oh, that's, just, that's a bridge too far, isn't it? It's a nice big, beefy province, after all. Um, we are a little bit there. Maybe demand some money. Not much. Alright, so... Burgundy will grant independence to Holland. We will end their overlordship of Barbant. It will give me three three monies. Uh, cost me 162 diplomatic power, which is these things up here. And we will get independence. We will get prestige. Burgundy will lose it. Gain some inflation. Cost us some stuff. But that's cool. Because this war is over. Hooray! Lost that... All right, so we're now an independent free country. Free Holland, man. And our guys will go boating again. Uh, we're going to move our troops back out of foreign territories. Uh, we now have the ability, if we so desire, to like make our own alliances, our own friends and crap. Uh, Friesland, they hate me. I hate them. Let's go with that. Barbant, we could be best buddies, but you're kind of host hostile to me, so I'm going to be like, you know... Okay, let's be hostile. Hostile. Maybe even super hostile. Uh, Long-term rivals. So, so uh, this is power projection. You want this to be high if you can manage it. It's not always possible. But you do get power projection by be basically being mean to your rivals. <laughs> that's, that's as simple as it is. And more troops. Uh, now that we're independent, we can maybe think about doing things like development. Uh, we're not behind on tech at all. In fact, no one is beating us right now. Because we are base tech level and no one's had time to up tech up yet. So it might be a good idea to maybe... I don't know. Prove our manpower, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. And... We need... If we get to 20, we can unlock another building slot here. Now, the building slots uh, will be used later. We don't have the money to build buildings yet. But when we do, we'll most certainly be building them up. Uh, yes. A little extra manpower. It's always appreciated. Now, we have a development level of 22 here. And a level of 20 here. So, we got three building slots and three building slots in both. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see about getting some... Now, these guys are still at war with, with England and all them, so them being out of the personal union uh, did not end that. Uh, Cologne! You're out of the Gellera. Eh, it could be worse. Uh, do you want an alliance? No, you do not. Um, Holland. Ooh. How are you, monster? You're big and scary. Maybe if we make you like us more? How about that? So we would love you to be on our side in all things combat related. I'd also like Austria to be on our side, but I don't know. They're a little, uh, little angsty. <laughs> Dutch army strength is kind of poor, so they're like, mm, we don't really care. Barbant has a rival dress. Cool. Um, hmm. France! France! They want us to military acts? Well, sure. Be be more our buddy? <laughs> France will come help aid us if we're ever in trouble, but they will not be reliable for going on the aggressive path. So if we want to take territories from our neighbors, we'll have to uh, do it the old-fashioned way. With sticks and stones and robots and things. 
All right. Armies reassembled. Bloop. Uh, we can have up to 10 units. We have six presently. We can go up to 18 boats. Uh, mothball forts? No, I think not going to do that. Uh, keeping our forts in good standing is probably a good idea. The Dutch peasants are kind of upset, but they're going to be less upset as time goes by. We are improving our legitimacy, slowly but surely. Uh, but it would be actually kind of useful to get an heir and some Dutch noble succeed to the throne. Just some guy, I guess. They probably have a weak claim, and yeah. Basically the same boat we're in presently. And we're going to go ahead and boost our stability. So I believe that helps with legitimacy. Um, maybe not. Never mind! <laughs> but it does help us with like things like unrest and monies and things like that, so... We're going to go ahead and have that stability be higher. So, yes. <laughs> Auto save. <clears throat> mm. That's the thing that happens. I'm playing on Iron Man mode. That's how I get achievements. Playing on Iron Man mode. It also means I can't reload the save game from previous save. Because that's always auto-saving constantly. Every month. Mm. Auto-save. Ah, plastic bottles are useful. Mm. More troops. So we are actually a pretty... Pretty rich in uh, pimp land here. Uh, we gain the CP against Gelra. Sweet. Barbant, you have a peace treaty with... Er, uh, you know, a peace treaty, a truce with me until 64. Hopefully you don't get any powerful allies in the meantime. Uh, Cologne, you want to ally me. Are you rivaling anybody? Hess, Aachen, Brunswick. Aachen... Cool. Uh, but you guys are higher priority, I think. And... Cologne? Get, get invested in my actions. Austria! Hmm. You have, I would like you to be on my side as well. Uh, it does result in me being bold in lots of really stupid wars. But it would help spook th some people away. Like England, maybe. Uh, because they're allied with England, so. But it's also probably a good idea to how, be on good relationship with the Emperor anyway. Alright, well, what's the, uh... Why people seem to be, like, Bohemia lately? Hmm. Interesting. Especially Bohemia. So, for those unfamiliar, the HRE, the Holy Roman Empire, uh, elects their, their, their ruler, which is taken from one of the rulers of the various princes of the HRE. So, one of these... It's not necessarily the case, but it usually is. <laughs> uh, there are some various rules on who can be elected emperor, and the basically you have to make these guys, the electors, like you a certain amount. Basically more than anybody else. Sometimes more than that, because they might be voting for themselves. Premium. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> and so, to that end, you want to be on these guys' good side. Now, Austria, they're very, very good at diplomacy. That's sort of the... Their strong point as far as their various bonuses go and each country has their own strengths and weaknesses uh some of them more more weird than others uh, <laughs> but uh the strength of austria is definitely diplomacy they have dudes that are like we're gonna marry everybody that way everyone is like our relatives and thus they don't want to attack us they want to be our friend yep <laughs> It's like late medieval renaissance period. That's sort of what you did then. In fact, it's what you pretty much did until like the 1800s. <laughs> Just when the game period, <laughs> the period of this game ends. So, that kind of makes sense. Anyway. So, we're holding down a little bit here. Before we start pulling triggers on things. Utrecht. Aachen and Oldenburg. We want to have a bigger army than Utrecht here. In order for us to take them down. Um, then again, England has warned us. They're currently in a war themselves, so they might not be interested in joining. Uh, it would make things interesting. Maybe I should wait until France is done fighting down here first. Yeah. Why are you fighting Aragon again? I, I don't know. Even... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> hmm. 
boots. Lovely, lovely boots. Do I have anything else I can probably go over at this point? Uh, we're getting pretty close to the end of the episode. Uh, maybe next... Well, maybe we'll save the war uh, of aggression for next episode. And just sort of get in position for actions and such for that then. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Austria. They're still meh about us. Uh, we can do some things. We can do things like royal marriages. Uh, now, this will give us a legitimacy hit. But it will increase our chance of new air, which we kind of need. Now, I think it's worth doing this at this point. Just to... And you never know. We could end up with a personal union over France, somehow. Unlikely, but it could happen. Uh, Finding Cleves. Oh, uh, they're a bishopric. They can't... Can't royal marriage us. Eh, never mind. <laughs> Austria, you want to royal marriage us? Sweet, we'll take it. You really have a Habsburg on the throne. Could be actually kind of useful. Uh, noble from De Valois succeeds to the throne. Hmm. That works. Don't want to be under, under a personal union, though. That would just be bad news. Uh, Austria, how do you feel about us now? Still neutral? Alright, that's... That's acceptable, I guess, but you're a little more happy about us, so that's good. Uh, relations. Cologne, be happier. Actually, we have obscurism. I don't know, I need my prestige right now, so I'll take the unrest and hope for the best. Hey, it didn't actually pick up far enough to be a, a problem. Alright. Okay, maybe it did. <laughs> Just a little bit. Gives us uh, a revolt in 92 years, so we're probably fine. Let's get our get our game on. Get our action going. Let's get our army built. Oh, God. Oh, armies everywhere. Hmm. Okay, maybe just Holland, but... Well, or all over the HRE, but you, you know how it is. You know. Please. Truce with Milan expired. And Savoy. Oh yeah, we were kind of a war with them, I guess. Or something? <laughs> um, England. England! And province, and Austria, and Lorraine, and Montferrat. And other places that are awesome. And that. Get our alliance with Austria. And now we are... Not completely, but pretty close to being immune from all invasion. Forever. <clears throat> Not really, but... Pump the microphone there, sorry. A little bit further, a little bit further. So. Utrecht. You want to be our buddy, our pal. But, I don't know... I can get some people that to be like more than defensive with me. That would be a uh, be swell. What? I'm gonna get Cleves involved. <laughs> they seem to like me. Why don't I have like, all these dudes? They're like, we want to be defensive. Yeah. <laughs> maybe Bourbon. What what would happen here? No, terrible stuff. I don't know. Maybe it was a terrible move to ally these guys. Friesland. Friesland. I don't know how to pronounce it. Let me know if you know how to pronounce it. Anyway, I'm going to think about my alliances. Maybe I'll change who I like and who I don't. And uh, we'll see what happens from there. Maybe I'll move to Brunswick. Maybe I'll move to Liege. Maybe we'll go ally Burgundy for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> They're a lot weaker than they used to be, but, uh, you know, that's how it goes. Anyway, so, this has been Essex playing some EU4. Until next time. Keep coloring in the map. There's a lot of things to color in. A lot of provinces. Oh my god, there's all this territory to explore. Yeah, to explore. Perhaps to colonize. Hmm, yes. Till next time, everybody. Toodles. Woohoo!